All right, guys, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to actually try in real time color lock leather and vinyl car care kit. And it's basically a leather cleaner and, a, and it comes also with a sealant um, to protect the leather. Uh, I saw an entire vlog on this uh, through Obsessed Garage. I'm actually going to put the link down below because I think it's very informative. It's with the, uh, the executives from Color Lock and they explain the history of Color Lock, how they got into the industry, and also um, how this product can help you with uh, color dye transfer from blue jeans on light colored leather like the problem that I'm having with my uh, leather. Um, and it's also for vinyl or vegan leathers uh, and to be quite honest the majority of the products that are out there are vegan leather I mean unless you really spend uh, additional money for the uh, for the real leather and even when you get real leather to be quite honest the bolsters are typically vegan leather or vinyl and then only the center part of the seating is actually leather. So even when you sp spend the extra money on the leather seating, they're not giving you full leather seating unless you're buying like a very expensive Porsche or Mercedes Benz or something like a Bentley or something like that where 100% of the leather is authentic leather. But, um, and these, these leathers that are coming out now are so, so very good that uh, it's very difficult even for the professionals to figure out whether or not they're real leather or not. So uh, this is MB Techs. This is from uh, Mercedes-Benz. Uh, BMW, uh, I believe, have, has Sensitec. And then there's a whole bunch of different uh, um, manufacturers that have their own products and their own vegan leathers out there. So we're going to try this leather cleaner on this to remove this dye transfer that you see from blue jeans. This is very typical for a light colored leather. I mean, I know there's hundreds of thousands of Teslas out there with white vegan leather, and I can only imagine that's a major problem with those cars. But even with these like beige and these like light tan materials, you're gonna have that transfer. And I think in, on the passenger side, it exists also. So we're gonna try it in real time here. Uh, I've tried a couple different products already, like all purpose cleaner, uh, which I'll show you a quick video of the results on that. It was the Meguiar's uh, all-purpose cleaner. Um, didn't really do much at all. This is a diluted version too. I think it's 50-50. Um, I also used the Griots, two different Griots products, the Leather Cleaner or Leather Care. Uh, this I thought was better for shoes than it was for car leather. Um, it does smell really good. That's the great thing about the Griots products. They smell very good. And then they have another product, because I called them up direct and I wanted to find out exactly what they sold, specifically for dye transfer. And they told me that it was the Odor Neutralizing Leather Cleaner. I bought that, tried it, and it didn't do much, to be quite honest. So I sent that back. It was just a useless to keep that around. I think it was about $17 or something like that. I'll put the link of that product down below. I'll put the link of this product because as an all-purpose cleaner, this works really well, but as for dye transfer, not very good at all. The Leather Care from Griots, not good. Odor Neutralizing Leather Cleaner from Griots, not good. So that's why I went to Color Lock. And I also used the Gion Leather Cleaner, which is this product right here. This is uh, their mild version of it. And this did a pretty decent job. It does remove some of the transfer dye, but not all of it. I know they have a stronger version of this, and maybe that would work a little bit better in this case, but um, I said, you know what, let me try a different product, a product that actually uh, has been around for a long, long time. I believe this product has been around for over 30 years. Um, so I wanna like unbox this, share the, the results with you guys in real time, and see how it works. All right, so let's see what's inside this box. Um, open this up a little bit, and uh, I'll try to do this with one hand. Shouldn't be too difficult. All right. And I did go ahead and I bought um, a strong cleaner. This is a strong uh, leather cleaner from the same exact company. So altogether, this entire kit was $77, I believe. So this was like about $44 
$45 from the rag company. You can see I got it from the rag company. And I'll put that link down below. Um, yeah, and then this was another like $15 or something like that. So anyway, altogether with tax and delivery, it was about $77. So what the kit comes with is their mild cleaner. So that's what we're gonna start off with first. A very soft bristle brush for the um, for the cleaning process. The sealant that we talked about before, this is the protective sealant that you put on afterwards, after everything's dry. You apply this onto this, this uh, brush, and then just gently, gently wipe the surface. And if this doesn't work, I'm gonna try the stronger cleaner and uh, see if that uh, removes that dye. And I'm gonna actually try it in a small area first uh, to make sure that it doesn't do anything to the leather. It shouldn't. Um, this is actually designed for this type of leather, for vegan leathers especially, because they're a little bit more durable. And um, yeah, so let's give it a shot. All right, so this is the before picture or video I'm gonna show you. And I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to clean this section off and uh, do that off camera and then see how that works. Uh, and then I'll do the rest of it on camera if it does work. Um, but yeah, I'll take it slowly and I'll try. I'm gonna focus on the bolsters because the bolsters gets, gets hit a lot with jeans and stuff like that. So that's the primary, primary location that I wanna clean. Actually, I wanted to kind of revisit this. This sponge is for the application of the soap. Um, so in some areas, you might want to use this sponge, which is a, a lot less aggressive than the, uh, the bristle brush, um, although this is soft to begin with. But you can use this to apply the soap also, you know, the hand rests on the center of the console or maybe even your steering wheel or something like that. And uh, you could use that. So that's, that's the way it's explained. You can basically use that sponge for the, uh, the cleaner. And then this cloth, this cloth that I, I originally thought was for cleaning up the uh, cleaner after you're done is actually for the application of the sealant. So we're gonna use that when we apply the sealant right here. So let's get right to cleaning it up. All right, so let's try this. So usually what I do is I shake up the chemical. Um, no matter what it is, I shake it up a little bit just in case it's been sitting for a little bit. Uh, make sure all the ingredients are on there. Use the pump to apply it to the brush little bit on there never I don't think it says not to put it on the seat directly so I'm gonna try just following the instructions exactly the way it says and I'm gonna rub it on Now I know when I spoke to a couple detailers about this, they said that sometimes the dye gets so embedded into the fabric because the fabric or the leather is so uh, porous that, um, that it won't come out. Now I, I believe that's true with real leather to a degree, but I don't believe that's the case with this product because this is the, uh, the vegan leather or the Embitex. So, and this is a fairly newer, newer car, so it should come up. So I'm trying it right now. I see a little bit of the product working, getting in there. There's a little bit more. And again, this is the mild version. Um, if this doesn't work, then I'm gonna go to the stronger version. But I'm gonna try that stronger version in a different area first before I do it on the seat in here. So after a couple passes, and I used the brush also, I mean the first time around I took a, a little bit, put it on this, this microfiber towel, and I tried it in a spot first. Um, it took a couple passes actually. So after a few passes, a majority of it's gone. 
Um, it looks pretty clean. You know, some residual, just a little bit left on there. It's not 100%, but I don't want to get too aggressive with it and have to, um, and actually maybe damage this stuff. But I think the reason why it takes a couple passes, in all honesty, is I think they make these so mild that it doesn't damage the MB Techs or the vegan leather or the real leather. You know, I mean, obviously, if they make this too aggressive, there's going to be a whole bunch of callbacks and people are going to be asking for leather seating replacements. But um, I think a couple more passes and this will pass my inspection, honestly, and I think it'll be uh, fine. And then I'll go ahead and install the sealer. I'm going to try it on the passenger side now, too, and see how that works on that side. All right. Final thoughts on this color lock, mild, strong vinyl cleaner. Uh, leather and vinyl cleaner, I should say. And again, I haven't put the sealant on yet. I'm going to put that on a little bit later. But I think it did a really good job. I, I do. Um, I guess in my mind, I'm always looking for that kind of that magic potion that's just going to simply dissolve that dye away. But I don't think that's realistic. I think honestly, you have to use one of these products, whether it's the mild cleaner or the strong cleaner on your leather or your vegan leather and just do it a couple different times. Uh, rinse it down with a microfiber towel with uh, some water on it to kind of dilute it, clean it off, and just be happy with the results. And then obviously put a sealant on there every now and then. This sealant is supposed to last about three to six months. I think what Color Lock said is every time you go back and you clean the surface with one of these cleaners, you're also removing the sealant. So you have to reapply the sealant every time you use your cleaner. So, and that makes sense. So basically you're creating a barrier, um, you're protecting the seat and the leather and the vegan leather. Then you're gonna use the cleaner, you're removing the dirts, the soils, all that kind of stuff, plus the sealer, and then you reapply the sealer. And bottom line, all you're doing is just protecting the actual leather for a longer period of time. And I, won't, I don't suggest doing this too often. Do it like every three months. And basically just allow your seat to soil up um, and then remove everything with the cleaner and then reseal the, uh, the leather. Uh, and then that should, that should do it for you. So I hope that helps uh, my assessment of the product. It is definitely better than any of these two products and the other product from Griot's, which is the odor neutralizing leather cleaner. Um, this, in my opinion, is on par with the Gion leather cleaner, the mild or the strong. I'm going to order the strong. I'm going to see how that works. So the next time I try it, I'm going to try the strong cleaner from Gion uh, along with this and see how that works. But uh, no, I give it a thumbs up. I think it did a really good job and um, it does look a lot newer and cleaner and I'm going to put the sealant on tonight. So hope that helps. Talk to you later.